So first of all, uh, really sorry guys, I, I couldn't make a video this Tuesday. I'm really busy right now. I got some delivery issues with the USB sensor, which I'm trying to resolve as soon as possible. And uh, also I just got so much other stuff to do. So I'm just gonna do a quickie right here about hydrogen fuel cell cars, especially the Toyota Mirai, which is my favorite. So as you know, I made a very long four-parter blog in 2015 uh, detailing why I think that uh, hydrogen fuel cell cars just don't work. Right on the heels of that blog, uh, Toyota announced availability of the Toyota Mirai, the first so-called mass-produced fuel cell car for the low, low price of $60,000 to be delivered at the end of the year. And I thought, well, maybe it's a good idea to uh, have a little bit of a feedback cycle, look at the state of things, see if things are going well, when to go and look, and well, there you go. Toyota tells dealers, stop Mirai deliveries. Geez, I wouldn't have expected this. Now, I don't want to look like I'm gloating here, but obviously I said this, this is gonna happen. They're not gonna deliver because they knew this was coming. So let's just go through the article and see what's, uh, what's going on. Toyota invested billions to develop its first fuel cell car, the Mirai. Well, this is not their first fuel cell car. They've been making the um, FCX Clarity and all that kind of stuff. Toyota so expect expects to deliver a total of 300 of the cars between the United States and Europe in 2016. So yeah, that's that's not much, but it's something. And they, uh, they said they have sales targets of 3,000 by the end of 2017. So they're gonna deliver 300 in the US and Europe and 700 in Japan. In the next year, they're going to do 2,000 split, like roughly the same way uh, over Europe and the US and Japan. And by 2020, they want to hit a sales target of 30,000. So they, they started pre-sales in May or June, I think, of 2015. And availability was supposed to be in October. But uh, what do we see if we go to... Uh, the mytoyotamirai.com discussion forum. We see Cal eight California dealers will start selling Mirai FEV in October. Uh, this hasn't happened. Uh, four or five of the dealers aren't actually carrying it. Toyota Mirai has landed in Europe. Yeah, 12 of them have been bought by Transport for London and none are used by actual consumers. So essentially this, this forum, like if we go to the Toyota Mirai owners forum, nobody owns a car. Like these, these are all need your Toyota Miria for a week. I would like to drive your car for up to a week for an article that I intend to write about hydrogen cars. Well, nobody has a car. There's no one here because Toyota doesn't let you buy a Mirai if you, even if you wanted one. Yep, pretty much. So coming back to the article, um, it says, according to Inside EVs, Jim Lentz, CEO of Toyota North America, has instructed the dealers who handle the cars, including its highest volume dealer located in Santa Monica, California, to stop delivering cars to new customers. Why? There are just aren't enough hydrogen refueling stations available for the 72 Mirai sedans that are already on the road. I highly doubt that there are 72 Mirai sedans on the road. Why is that? Well, the aforementioned forums have nobody on them. Like this forum, toyotamirai.info, this is, this is a ghost town. All the, uh, even on the bigger car forums, the actual Mirai topics are full of people who either protest the whole thing or they actually filled out the giant questionnaire that you have to fill out to get a Mirai or uh, they actually pre-ordered one but none of them have any so yeah you get uh, like the gmvault.com uh, which is a pretty good forum for uh, for electric vehicles in general people are just bashing the Mirai all around and if we go to an owner of an actual uh, I think it's a Tucson yeah on a private Facebook group. I've, I've also looked at the Facebook groups. It's, there's just nobody who has a Mirai. Um, I have leased a fuel cell vehicle for a little over a year now. The expectations that were being portrayed 
then, 15 stations being up by the end of 2014, fell woefully short. There are eight so-called active consumer stations, with three currently working as of this writing. So in 2014, end of 2014, eight stations, of which three were currently working. And now, Toyota is stopping, uh, stopping delivery because there's not enough infrastructure. So let's look on the Toyota Mirai website for the map of fueling stations. Ta-da! So what can we see? First of all, let's just, let's just zoom out. Yeah, definitely only California has any fueling stations. Let's see if they have the UK. No, they don't have the UK mapped out. Okay, so let's just look here in the Los Angeles area. There are one, Diamond Bar, and Los Angeles West LA uh, SMB. I think that's Santa Monica, Beverly Hills. Uh, two stations are actually open now. If we look further along the I-5, there is, there is a station purportedly open uh, on Coalinga, and there's one in Sacramento. There's not actually one West Sacramento. There's not actually one in San Francisco where you would expect hydrogen fueling stations to be for progressive town. Uh, so let's see, that's four. Four functional uh, refueling stations. And it's even gotten worse because there are only two in LA that are functioning now, down from three at the end of 2014. So the article goes on. Uh, the California Energy Commission has projected there would be 53 hydrogen stations open by the, uh, in the state by the end of 2015. Instead, there were only five, and one of those is out of service most of the time. So yeah, I can, I can see four that are open, and from what I understand from the Facebook group, uh, out of those, only one in LA actually pumps hydrogen. You can actually only make appointments with one, and the other one is... It's just not servicing people. So also, even those were only able to fill the hydrogen tanks on board the cars halfway and drivers had to make an appointment to get their hydrogen. Uh, there the old, I think 2011 demonstration that only go up to 350 bars, which is the uh, pressure of the uh, tanks in most older fuel cell cars. And the Mirai has a 700 bar tank. So you can only fill it up to half. So you only have 150 miles of range, which is the same as most electric cars you can buy now, full electrics, like the Nissan Leaf or the Chevy Volt. So this article here uh, on uh, Green Car Reports, this is from July uh, 2015, before the Mirai uh, was available. And already then, Bergman, who is one of the owners of um, a Tucson fuel cell car. Uh, Bergman said he's been approached recently by a number of Toyota drivers, often in previous hybrids, who have asked him about this hydrogen vehicle and what it's like to drive. They like the idea of driving a zero emission vehicle, he said, and many of them are familiar with Toyota's marketing campaign for the Mirai as the car of the future. Berkman tells him he likes driving on hydrogen, he said, but that as of today, refueling his car has been far more of a challenge than he had ever imagined. So this, this here is the real issue. Uh, and this is what, I, what, what I've been saying for a long time. Uh, the, the refueling hydrogen issue is not going to be resolved soon. And people imagine that refueling a hydrogen car is just like filling up your car with gas. And eventually, obviously, that will happen. But right now, it's 2016. We've been developing this stuff for a long time. Like, I've been... My racing days on the hydrogen with a Formula Zero driving team, that was 2007 when we started. Almost 10 years ago. Back then, we had the same issues. This has not been solved. We've had nine years of potential development and nothing has changed. Uh, you, you can't fill up, or at least right now, you cannot fill up your hydrogen car in a couple of minutes. It takes, uh, including making appointments and being there on time and all that. It's just a giant hassle. 
Uh, and it's not actually better than electric cars. Like at a supercharger, you can charge up to 80% in 20 minutes. And so this one is really cool. Um, Green Car Reports followed up. Uh, th this is a um, discussion with uh, Green Car Reports followed up by asking uh, what CARB would say to Tucson fuel cell drivers now unable to use the cars they're paying to lease and to interested Mirai shoppers concerned over whether an adequate, adequate fuel uh, fueling network would be available if they took the plunge and became an early hydrogen adopter. We received the following response from Linda Repetani, Information Officer at the California Energy Commission. I don't think we need a back and forth conversation about this. I believe our response suffices. Statewide, 48 stages are in various stages of development, which includes 10 stages, stations in active construction and three in final commissioning. Even as we await the new stations, several current stations are being upgraded to increase their capacity and improve performance, which makes them unavailable to customers. This is a challenging transition time for customers, but we are confident it will improve. So this, this is half a year ago and the situation has gotten worse. So basically what I want to do with this kind of stuff, sometimes I will have these videos where I just rant a bit uh, about a topic that's uh, close to my heart. And these, this, this whole hydrogen debacle is something I really like. I uh, got a lot of, a lot of interest in the technology and even though I think hydrogen for cars isn't a good idea and fuel cells for cars are a ridiculously bad idea, uh, fuel cells aren't a bad thing. Like stationary fuel cells are probably the best thing to happen since diesel generators. Um, so I do want to see this going somewhere, but a lot of people have this, this irrational love for the whole hydrogen thing because they think, oh, I can just, I can have a green car. I don't have to change my habits. I can just refuel it whenever I want and pay for my fuel and just the same. And I don't have to recharge it for six hours and it's, it's all awesome. And I have a lot of range. And the reality is that they're really expensive and there's no infrastructure and getting the infrastructure up is going to be hella expensive. Uh, and in the end, we're not going to be able to produce enough cars because we don't have enough platinum and platinum is only rising in price. And there's just a bunch of technical reasons why fuel cells in cars are just never, never going to happen. Um, but on the other hand, a car company like Toyota, they have a bunch of money. They have, uh, have billions they can spend on this. If they want to, they can brute force their way in the market. They can brute force out uh, a production line of cheap fuel cell cars. I mean, you can theoretically produce a fuel cell car for a reasonable price for like sub $40,000. And you can roll out a hydrogen fueling uh, network of like hundreds, couple hundred uh, refueling stations on a budget of a couple billion. This is possible. I mean, I bet you can get lots of government grants and you can get big oil behind it and get some more money. Um, it is it is not a technical impossibility. I mean, it's obvious that hydrogen cars work. Uh, it's just that there are worse uh, technology to use than battery electric cars. And that's why I'm like uh, pretty opposed to the idea of, of the whole. Uh... And then there's the whole waiting list thing and having to fill out lots of forms and uh, asking all kinds of strange questions whether and, and Toyota evaluating whether you are uh, going to be a potential buyer for a Mirai. Um, this is this is all just indicative of something that even Toyota isn't really confident in. Um, so that's why I just want to once in a while have these reviews and see what the state of technology is right now. So. Hope you like that. If you don't, well, there's going to be a regular video somewhere later in the week, probably not tomorrow. Really busy right now, but um, yeah. See ya.